be contingent on the geology for other erosion as well the mineral in agriculture are found in the soil sunlight and water are not the only things needs to plant growth and mineral are essential for part of plant growing the need mineral like potassium phosphorus and nitrogen the mineral can be found in the fertilizer feed to the plants rocks and minerals are called the around us they help us to develop new technologies are used in your everyday life our use of rocks and minerals include a building material the cosmetics cars roads and application in other maintenance the healthy lifestyle and their human needs to consume the mineral daily it fertilization of the soil with rocks allow the understanding of the natural process which maintain production level while building a sustainable uh, fertile soil there are the nutrients for small farmers and next of all weather and climate this very important of agriculture land use development planning for applied geomorphology the main way the change in the climate it can alter land use in through the higher mean annual temperature the altered precipitation pattern and more frequent to the extreme weather climate events change in the temperature and the rainfall can also increase the risk of insect the infrastructure of the outbreak determining deter mention to the forest and their other plant a key outcome will be improve the quantification of the flood uh, probabilities and their hazard dimension of the food risks the second we present the evidence showing how the uh, extent of geomorphologic and climate parameters can alter the risk and magnitude of landscape change caused by the extreme events we saw that the geomorphic forces can both mediate and increase the geomorphological impact of extreme events influence social risk and the further we show the potential of the managing flood and storm risk through the geography system and the soil fertility and crop growth the soil scientist that focus on soil fertility are interested in ma- managing nutrient to improve the crop production they focus on using commercial fertilizer manure and the waste products uh, from animal and compost to add nutrients and organic matter to the soil soil fertility experts must also be careful to ensure that the practices are environmentally sustainable in management of nutrient can lead to cultivation of lake river their streams and groundwater in addition the adding amendment of the soil is expensive and cut off into probability or woods then to little nutrients for the plants and you know the soil degradation is very dangerous problem and crop for crop production the soil form fresh plant material through various chemical and physical weathering process and it is soil through the decompose of the plant residents and their biomass although this natural soil building process the regression the generation of the soil the rate of soil and structure structure and properties of the soil very important the geomorphic features among the many perspectives that can be applied the geology provides the most reliable and the context for understanding natural earth system including soil across the wide range of environment it is and perspectives that recognize and detail the primary framework upon which the natural process and human 
of red and geology largely define the material architecture of the soil these are example composition these are general arrangement and literal extent uh, of this material it help to explain that configuration and distribution of the material which the soil is composed and the geomorphology is the study of landforms the material of which they are made and the dynamic by which they are made and function it is at the center of understanding what are the material are how they interact how they originate and how far they extend and where similar condition and material are likely to occur it focus on the combination of the composition and stratified the safe and topography of the material and the geologic process that give rise to and modify them and next of all the agriculture existing existing land use pattern and irrigation this uh, picture so the large area of the catchment area and hill scale and hill slope position and the appreciated is the scale depends upon the perspectives and objectives of the survey for example for a setting along the border area of the area in the landscape and the model can be developed and applied it and uh, a landscape scale there are phagent eroded structural hill area and alluvial plain and the dominant geomorphic process it can be highly applied and the tectonic movements and erosional and their fluvial action uh, are the uh, regional base in slope development at a landform scale which is finer than landscape the same area presents and eroded the structural hill and highly floor that dominant geomorphic process are erosional and fluvial and are local in scope the scale determined a which geomorphic de described can be effectively used and present the geomorphic evolution of regional scope it can separate tectonic hills from the areas dominated by the fluvial process such as the net zone area not uh, net zone area the more localized and the landform scale can different dominant landforms and there are the dominant geomorphic process as the alluvial flood and control there are landscape top as the more details erosional and the depositional surface derived from the dominant hill slope process needs to be represented at the finer scale and the next their cropping pattern it is changed the cropping pattern uh, there are the mono cropping the multi cropping inter cropping mixed cropping and sequence co uh, and sequence cropping and integrated farming there are the different image can show here the a b c d e f and so their cropping uh, pattern in order to increase the agriculture production from given the land resource it is the necessary to use scientific cropping pattern the cropping pattern the system approach the holds many firms in this regrets the adoption of the cropping system technology it is useful appreciation defend the physical and socio economic resource and who is are available or are made available to the time when they are need a location specific and the farm based cropping pattern have to be evaluate the consideration of such determine determine determines as land and topography water availability and intensity and duration of sunlight is very important and next of all the labor availability and cash credit power some source of the market demand and there are number uh, a a are showing the monocropping monocropping basically monocropping monoculture refers to the growing a only one crop or a phase of land year after year it may be due to climatological and socio economic condition or due to specialization of farmer in growing the particular under the rain fit condition groundnuts or coconuts and cotton or the sugarcane are swing year after year due to the limitation of rainfall in canal irrigation area 
under water logging and condition the rice crops is grown as the not possible for uh, to the grow and the other crops and the multi cropping the bee showing the bee image the growing two or more crops on the same prairie same phase of land in one the calendar years is known as the multi cropping it is the intensification of the cropping in time and space dimension and c the intercropping intercropping is the growing to two or more crops and simultaneously on the same species of the land who is a defined the row pattern growing the setaria and different crops and their ratio 5 is to 1 thus the cropping intensity space dimension is achieved and intercrop was the originally the practice as the ensure against the crop and failure under the rain, rain fit condition at the present the main objective of intercropping is the higher productivity for unit area in addition to stability in production intercropping system utilizes the resource efficiency and their productivity is increased and for successfully intercropping there are certain improvement requirement the time to fake the nutrient demands and composition the light should be minimum among the component crops and should exist between the component crops and mixed farming is the growing to or more crops and there are without any row pattern it is the common practice in the most of dry land and tracts of india seeds of the different crops are mixed in the certain proportion and are shown the objective is to meet the family requirement of the pulses vegetables and there are sequence cropping sequence cropping basically sequence cropping can be defined as a growing of two or more crop in a sequence on the same phase of land and farming year and depending on the number of the crop growing in the year it is called double and triple or the uh, ground up and the cropping involving two three and four crops respectively in addition to the above system really cropping the really really cropping and the cropping are also existence and planning and successfully complete their crops and before harvesting the presiding uh, the crops an integrated farming system there are integrated farming system is a holistic method of combined several there are like cropping system and fishery poultry fisheries and with agriculture the harmonious way to the complement is other the objective is efficient the resource utilization and maximize of profit And next the food production at its change the global land base in the fundamental to our success as a civilization the cropland are the sites of the world production the savanna and grassland provide are there for grazing and the forest woodlands are source of fuel woods and paper timber and different products yet we have a poor understanding of the condition of this the this land resource in this chapter in this chapter review the recent history of the human agriculture activities across this globe focusing on the world side separate the intensification of cropland ecosystem that has occurred in the last century and one of the clearest manifestation of the human activities within the biosphere has been the conservation of natural landscape to highly managed ecosystem the ecosystem such as the croplands forestry and forest plantation and the urban area and until the recently however we have only had 
rough estimate of the extreme of human dominant landscape while this type of estimate are useful and they only indicates the extent of land use within gross national units and next the geomorphological impact of agriculture very important uh, theme today there are social geomorphology addresses the geographic detail and dynamic and near the earth surface that affect or are affected by soil process and the products it is the specially addresses the distribution and properties and the dynamic view here of the soil issue that traditional geology and geophilology do not emphasize because of scale or minimize because of uh, perspectives the soil issue are particularly environmentally and economically meaningful because they occurs the human operative scale and the scale at which most land use decision are made and applied in their consequence fed the soil science especially on the soil geomorphology is based of a uh, relationship between the lithology and hydrology and structurally the geomorphology and to silty and laser degree the biota and climate and nay there are the some agro climatic zone uh, for applied geomorphology in agriculture uh, agro climatic zone the region of india the western himalayan region and the planning commission of india has the divided into india into the fifth what agro climatic zone based of the physiography and soil and geological formation climate and cropping pattern and development of irrigation and mineral resource for extensive agriculture planning and development and the future strategy for the first of point the western himalayan region these are the situated jammu and kashmir the himachal pradesh and the hill region of uttarakhand there are the major crops saffron maize barley and cherry almond and the walnut and the second region the eastern himalayan region the area of arunachal pradesh the hill station of assam sikki meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura darjeeling district of west bengal and major crops there are rice maize potato and teas and third of all the lower uh, ganga plain region or area of west bengal and the eastern bihar and bamutra valley the major crops the rice jute maize potato and pulses the next their uh, classification region the middle ganga plain region the part of uttar pradesh and bihar there are the crops the rice maize uh, wheat and barley mustard potatoes and upper ganga plain region <coughs> their area the central and western part of uttar pradesh and haridwar and district uttarakhand the major crops wheat rice sugar cane and the cotton and the trans ganga plain region the punjab haryana chandigarh delhi these are major crops wheat sugar cane cotton and there are eastern plateau and hill region the chhodnagpur plateau extending over the jharkhand odisha chatisgarh these are eastern plateau and hill region agro climatic zone the major crops they are rice wild seeds nees and potatoes groundnuts soybeans and the second next of all the central plateau and hill region bundelkhand bakhelkhand and the bhandara plateau malwa plateau and some bindachal hills region major crops there are millet and the wild seed cotton and sunflowers and western plateau and hill area are situated area the southern part of malwa plateau and deccan plateau this is a location maharashtra the major crops the wheat and millets and cotton and the southern plateau and hill region there are area interior of the deccan including part of southern maharashtra and the great part of karnataka andhra pradesh tamil nadu have land form uh, adilabad district north of madurai district and there are major crops millets wild seeds pulses coffee tea and eastern coastal plain these are area karamandal and north of the coast of 
Andhra Pradesh and Odisha and major crops they are rice, jute, tobacco and the sugar cane, millet, groundnuts and the wild seed. In the western coastal plain and ghat these are area malabar and konkan coastal and the next the major crops the rice coconut oil seed and the gujarat plain and hill area the hilar plain the kathiawada and the fertile the valley of mahi and savarmati river there are the major crops groundnuts cotton and western dry region western dry region the western of aravalli rajasthan there are the main crops bajra and jowar and wheat and gum and last of all the iceland region these are area andavan nikobar and lakhadweep there are the major crops rice maize millet pulses and turmeric etc uh, and there are all the region are divided Uh, some the geological formation and climate cropping pattern and develop of irrigation and the mineral resource for extensive agricultural planning thank you